The number of people, P, infected by a virus over time in hours, T, can be represented by the function P of T equals 18T. Once inside a host, the population of the virus over time in hours, T, can be modeled by the function V of T equals 10 to the T. What does the formula below represent? Okay, so again, the number of people infected is this formula here, P equals 18T. And then we have um, the population of the virus goes with this formula here, okay? So what does it represent when we multiply, um, when we have W of T and we multiply 18T times 10 to the T? So we're multiplying, this is essentially equal to P of T times V of T. So that means we're multiplying the number of people infected by the population of the virus inside a certain host. So we have the total number of people and then we're multiplying it by how fast the virus is spreading within each person. So that is going to give us the total virus population across all people. It's not just the population of the virus within one person because we're multiplying by the number of people. So it's not just in one person. It's not the total number of people infected. That's already um, our P of T equation. So it's not that. And it's not, has, there's nothing said here about the total number of healthy people. So A is the correct answer there.